this is always the challenge of uh, teaching slash tutoring, where I have to try to decide between how much information I spoon feed you, um, because I mean, there's a reason I'm using rather infantile <laughs> analogy of spoon feeding, because if that's the only way you get through the assignment, you are not learning anything. The only way you really learn is that you are working through it yourself. And you could take the form of where you, uh, you know, you learn something from this session and then walk away and then work it out on your own again. Uh, and if you somehow forgot something and get stuck, then you can come back to the recorded video. Um, and, but you have to put that some sort of separation between the help that's being provided to you and, and so that you can see what you actually understood and what you're just uh, transferring from one piece of paper to the other. And the, tr the kind of the final matter here is that the only person who can enforce that is you. I, there's no way I can actually enforce that. Um, so this problem does particularly poor job because it doesn't uh, randomize any of the numbers. But even if it did, um, when students are, are trying to, you know, circumvent learning, there's not much I can do to stop it. That's why I'm imploring you to not do that. <laughs>